Hi. Today I got all new pepper grinders and I'm so excited because my other ones were years old and really had uh, lost some of their sharpness. So I'm very excited to get new ones. So I thought I would take this opportunity to talk to you about the three different pepper grinders that I have and what's in them and why. So of course we have the black peppercorn. Now, the black pepper corn, a lot of people use as their everyday kind of pepper, and I don't. I have specific things that I like for the black pepper. The uh, black pepper is definitely a bolder, more spicier pepper, and I like it for things like chilies, and of course, you know, there's that southern country sausage gravy that really has to have the black pepper. Now the black peppercorns are actually the same as the white peppercorns, they're the same as the green peppercorns, it's all the same berry. The black peppercorns are picked right before they're ripe and they're left to lay in the sun for a couple of weeks and that's what makes them shrivel up and turn dark. And this I don't think was my best choice, oh, there we go, to get this pepper in here. So I like my black peppercorn. Now, peppercorns hold like this if stored in a cool, dark place. They will last you three to four years. But once your pepper is ground and you buy those, those little things of ground pepper, well, you got about four months before your pepper starts losing its flavor, which is why I like to grind mine fresh. My pepper's going to stay fresher longer, and I don't have to worry about it losing its vitality, if you will. And a lot of those pepper that are already ground that you buy at the store, they have cellulose in them. And the cellulose they put in there to keep it kind of free-flowing. But do you know what cellulose is? It's wood fiber. So you're really consuming wood when you consume pepper with wood fiber. You know, they put that in those green cans of cheese too, that, that cellulose. They give it a prettier name, I guess, so you don't realize what you're doing. So now next is my white pepper. I'm going to sit that there. and I want to find a different way because that really just wasn't working well for me, was it? I think this one might be bigger, so we'll see if that one works. Now, next is your white peppercorns. Now, the white peppercorns, again, are the same as the black. They're from the same berry. And the white peppercorn, they remove that outer shell, and you get just the seed inside. And the white pepper is definitely milder. It's used a lot in Asian in Asian cooking and I use it for things that are white so like Alfredo's and that kind of things or something where I just want a, a softer less spicy profile I definitely think the the white pepper is more earthy as well not as spicy but a little more earthy so the white pepper is obviously one that I use I still pick it up every day and I don't pick the black one up every day, too. See, that one was better. I think we'll finish this one off. And that leads us to uh, my favorite. My I pick this up every day. This pepper grinder I, pick, I use every single day. And that is the mixed pepper. Now, in the mixed pepper blend, I don't know. I think I, that I got on there. You have the black that we just discussed. You have the white that we just discussed, and you also have the green. And again, that green is the exact same berry from the exact same plant. It is just picked at its ripeness, and it's not dried or soaked or anything. You just get that green. Now, the thing that I like about the mix is that it is complex, it is balanced, and it's just has a really balanced flavor profile 
and it's just the most versatile. Now, the pink ones that you see, those are not actually a peppercorn. They are a berry. They are slightly sweet with a mild spiciness. Now, some of your mixed, sorry, somebody just came by and rocked this. Now, some of the mixed peppercorns you get actually have um, allspice berries. So that's always a good choice too. So this is my, I use this every single day. I pick this pepper mill up every day. This is my go-to for just about everything is my mix, mixed pepper blend. And it's just so versatile. So if I was in a situation and they said, Carrie, you can only have one pepper grinder on the boat. Well, it have to be the mixed peppercorns. So do yourself a favor, grind your own pepper, try to find a pepper that is nice and peppercorns that is um, a really nice peppercorn, not just the cheapest peppercorn that you find at the store because it can have additives and, and, and you just you just don't know why. So I hope you enjoyed my new pepper grinders. I'm so excited for them because my other ones were wearing out. And I just, I like this style that has this top like this so that I can grind into it to get the pepper that I need. So this is its first shot. Let's see how it did. Oh yeah, did great. Perfect. So thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you start grinding your own pepper and stop buying those cans of already ground pepper that have probably lost all their flavor by now anyway. Thanks for being here. I'll see y'all later. Bye.